In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called matching graphs of rational functions to vertical asymptotes. We're given two functions here, f of x and h of x. We're asked to match the graph of f of x to one of the graphs listed and to do the same for h of x. So I'll start with f of x. And for vertical asymptotes, if the expression has already been simplified, which these are in their simplest form, I can find the vertical asymptotes by setting that denominator equal to zero. So for f of x, we would have x squared minus x minus six equals to zero. And to solve, I would want to factor this left hand side. Our factors of x squared are x and x. Our factors of six would either be six and one or two and three. And in this case, two and three work by trial and error. If the three is minus and the two is positive, this gives us our minus three x and a plus two x that combine to be our minus one x. So having factored, I can now set each of these factors equal to zero. X minus three equals zero. Solving for x, we have x equals three. That's one of our asymptotes. The other factor, x plus two, when we set that equal to zero, I can again get the x by itself and have x equals negative two. So we have two asymptotes here, one at x equals negative two and one at x equals three. I can start doing a bit of elimination here. A has asymptotes at negative two and three. So this is a possibility. B has an asymptote at x equals negative four. That is not gonna be f of x. C has an asymptote at x equals negative two and x equals three, so that's a possibility. D has x equals negative two and x equals three as asymptotes. E has x equals negative four as an asymptote. That's not f of x and neither is f since it also has an asymptote at x equals negative four. We've narrowed it down to a, c, or d for f just based on the vertical asymptotes. Next, we can look at horizontal asymptotes. For horizontal asymptotes, we look at the degree of the top, which here for f of x, we look at the degree of the numerator, which for f of x is zero, and the degree of the denominator, which here is two, and when n is less than m, our horizontal asymptote is gonna be y equals zero. So A has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. C has a horizontal asymptote at y equals negative three. So not possible. We have narrowed it down to either A or D. And one way that I can see graphs A and D are different is that they have different y intercepts. So I can look back at f of x to determine the y intercept. This would be the y value when x is zero. So f of zero, we would replace our x's with zero. So zero squared minus zero minus six in the denominator gives us five over negative six. So almost negative one. Importantly, it's negative. In A, I can see that there is a negative intercept here, but in D, that intercept is positive. So we have eliminated D. Graph A is the only one that has met all of the criteria that we've looked at. So F of X would be graph A. And we can turn our attention now to H of X. We'll start again by looking at vertical asymptotes. And since this is already simplified, our vertical asymptotes happen where the denominator equals zero. So x squared plus two x minus eight equals zero. We can again factor on this left-hand side, just using trial and error, x squared would have to be x and x. The factors of eight are either eight and one or four and two. If my four is positive and my two is negative, that would multiply to be negative eight, but add in the inside and outside, minus two x and four x add up to be our positive two x. So we have factored the denominator and setting each one of those factors e equal to zero. 
gives us x equals 2 from the first factor. That's one of our vertical asymptotes. The second factor, being set equal to 0, gives us x equals negative 4. So as before, I'm just going to do some elimination. We know our vertical asymptotes should be negative 4 and 2. So I can eliminate A, C, and D. We've eliminated half of the graphs just looking at the vertical asymptotes. Moving now to horizontal asymptotes. N is the degree of the numerator, which here is 1. M is the degree of the denominator, which here is 2. So n is less than m, y equals 0 is our horizontal asymptote. So eliminating the only graph left that doesn't have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, I would be eliminating e. And then looking for differences between b and f, if I plug in the value x equals 1 for b, that graph is above the x-axis, so I would get a positive y. If I plug in 1 for the f function, that would give me a negative y. So I can use, so I can use h of 1 to determine which one of those is correct, replacing our x's with 1's. In the numerator, we would have 2 times 1, and in the denominator, 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 8. Simplifying from here, the numerator, 2 times 1 is 2. In the denominator, 1 squared is 1, plus 2 times 1 is 2, minus 8 gives us 2 over a minus 5. So our y value here is negative. When we plug in x equals 1, we should get a negative value. That happens for f, but does not happen for b. So we've eliminated all possibilities except for f. So h of x is graph f.